Hello, thank you for tuning in. In this session, you will learn about how you can build a graph connector to supercharge your Microsoft Search experience and to increase app content engagement. I'm James Lau, Group Product Manager and Product Lead for Graph Connectors product. Joining me today are Monica and Rajdeep from my team. Hey folks, do you want to say hi? Hi, my name is Monika Narainen, and I am a PM on the Graph Connectors team. I primarily work on integrating connector content in experiences like Office Hub, Viva Topics, and Meeting Insights. Hi, I'm Rajdeep Chanda. I'm a PM on the Graph Connectors team, and I primarily work on custom connectors, SDK, and connector platform capabilities. Our session today is divided into three segments. First, I will go over the basics of Microsoft Search and Microsoft Graph Connector. Then Monika will show you a custom connector that Microsoft IT has built and walk you through a number of experiences that its content participates in. Finally, Rajdeep is going to show you some code and teach you the basics of how you can go about building your own custom connector. Whether you are an IT admin or a developer, we hope that you will learn something from our session today. Organizations today are generating data at a faster rate than ever, and the pandemic has worsened this trend in the last couple of years. Making matters worse, data are often created in silos, making them more difficult to find and discover. Multiple analyst reports have estimated that information workers spend anywhere between 20 to 30% of their time just searching for the information they need to do their jobs. Additional productivity is lost because people often need to duplicate work when they couldn't find the information they were looking for. Modern information workers are often frustrated by this and they increasingly expect to be able to find the right information quickly across their organizations. But for Microsoft customers, there is good news. Microsoft Search, which is our AI-powered modern search engine designed for organizations, is already included with your Microsoft 365 subscription. It's built on top of the Microsoft Graph, and it takes into account user activities and relationships with the data to provide the most relevant and personalized search results. Being an enterprise search product, security is obviously critical. Microsoft Search supports security trimming to ensure only users who are supposed to see the data can see the search results. And Microsoft Search meets you where you are by being available on multiple form factors and multiple endpoints including Bing, SharePoint, Office.com, and Windows Search Box. And of course, with any enterprise search engine, connectors are important. Microsoft Search will already index all your SharePoint Online and OneDrive for Work content with zero setup. But to increase your search completeness and coverage, you can use graph connectors to connect to your SaaS data sources, your on-prem file shares, databases, or content management systems, and any other custom line of business data sources, so Microsoft Search can index all of them and make them available for search. Between Microsoft and our partners, there are over 130 connectors, and you can find them at the Graph Connectors Gallery. You can also use the Graph Connectors API to develop your own connector, whether you're implementing a custom connector for your organization, or if you are a SaaS provider wanting to make your product's content searchable in Microsoft Search, these are the right APIs for you to use. But the story gets better. When data is connected to our platform, it's really indexed into the Microsoft Graph, which is the underlying data fabric that powers many Microsoft 365 experiences. What that means is that the connected data transcends the traditional search experience of a search box and 10 blue links, and it can participate in other experiences like Context IQ, Content Recommendations, Viva Topics, eDiscovery, and more. So with this platform, you're really connecting your data to Microsoft 365 and not just search. Now let me pass it on to Monica to demo what some of these experiences look like with connector data. Monica, on to you. Thank you, James. Today I'm going to demonstrate how an organization can leverage graph connectors within Microsoft Search. 
To show you this demo today, we have taken the same Figma connector built by Microsoft internally and put it in a demo tenant. Figma is a popular web-based app used to create graphics and UI designs. With this connector, users within an organization can seamlessly find and share Figma projects and files across various Microsoft 365 services. Let's say I have been working on a marketing branding case study for a marketing campaign within my Figma application. I can go to any of the Microsoft search endpoints, which include office.com, SharePoint, and Bing at Work, and search for marketing. Under all, I can see search results from OneDrive and SharePoint. On the same page, I can also see results from Figma. If I wanted to see more Figma results, I can navigate to the Figma tab. From here, I can open the branding case study Figma file I was looking for and continue my work. After making some edits to the case study file, I want to share it in an email with Meredith, a close collaborator on the project to request their feedback. I create a new email addressing it to them and write, Hey Meredith, could you please take a look at this Figma file and get back to me with your thoughts? When I enter at, editor using context IQ provides a list of suggested people and files relevant to me that I can include in my email. As I type more, the editor using Context IQ provides me a smaller list of suggestions relevant to the context of my email. When I select the branding case study Figma file, an adaptive card is inserted showing me information about the item, including the title, the link, last edit time, and an image preview. This email looks good so I press send. Sometime later, I follow up with Meredith on Teams to see if they were able to check out the case study I had sent over. They said they hadn't seen it yet, but that they can go to their office.com homepage to find the shared Figma file among other recently worked on or shared items. As Meredith, I can navigate to office.com. Under quick access, I am able to find the Figma file Bob shared with me. I can then click on it and review the file. After reviewing the file, I let Bob know that the case study looks great and that I'm going to share it in our team's channel so that others can take a look and provide their thoughts. I write, please check out this case study Bob and I worked on. I can attach the case study Figma file using the Search Your Workplace messaging extension on Teams. I can select the Workplace Search icon here, navigate to Other Content, and search for Branding. When I select this Figma file, an adaptive card is inserted showing me information about the item. The message looks good so I can go ahead and share. Through this demo, you are able to witness firsthand the power of Microsoft Search and Graph Connectors in enabling users to find the most relevant content from multiple apps across Microsoft 365 services. Now I'm going to pass it off to Rajdeep to talk a bit about how you can build your own custom Graph Connector, just like the one that was demoed today. Take it away, Rajdeep. Thanks, Monica. Now I'm going to explain how you can build your custom connectors using Graph APIs. First, you will need to create a connection. This is a very simple call, and I will highlight the Graph endpoint for you here. You just pass in an ID, name, and description. The ID is something you will need in subsequent calls, and the name and description are the strings that will show up in the connectors admin UX. The Enabled Content Experiences list includes the list of experiences 
you want your connection to participate in and each experience has its own set of requirements. For example, the office.com recommendations experience requires activity settings which takes us to this next section. Within activity settings, you can provide a way to resolve URLs to item IDs by providing a set of base URLs, a regular expression pattern to parse the rest of the URL and a way to construct the item ID. This functionality is used to detect share activity of these items which in turn is used to generate content recommendations. Next, you need to create a schema for the connection that you just created. Note that Figma connector here is the connection ID that was passed in the earlier call. In the body of this call, you define the schema which is a list of properties that each item ingested later will have. For each property, you define the property's name and data type and also a set of optional behaviors for that property, whether it is searchable, retrievable, queryable, or refinable. If you are not familiar with what these attributes mean, you can learn more about them in our documentation. We have recently added support for something called labels. Labels allow you to pass in a collection of well-known strings to tell Microsoft Graph what this property semantically means. In this example, even though the property is called Figma title, you are saying that semantically it means title. So the graph will know how to use this property in things like relevance or default display templates. There are several other well-known strings you can use for labels and we will likely be adding more in the future. Now that you have created the connection and the connection schema, it's time for you to start adding items into this connection. To do that, you do a put on this endpoint. Note that you can use any ID that you want to, and this quite often could come from the source data. In the body of the create external item call, there are three sections. The ACL section allows you to specify your access control list for this item to ensure only the groups and users you want will be able to see this item anywhere in the Microsoft 365 experiences. In the next section, you specify the properties of this item and this should adhere to the schema that you define for the connection. The last section is content, which allows you to specify the body of the item in either HTML or text format. Anything you put here will automatically be added to the full text index. In summary, Create connection, create schema, and create external item are the three key API calls you need to know about to get started with creating a connector. We are also adding the capability to add activities on an external item to light up the experiences we just showcased. To do that, you do a post on this endpoint. Note that you need to use the ID of the external item for which you want to add activities, define the type of activity, the time of occurrence of the activity and the actor of the activity. You can see the AD ID of the user being added to identify who performed the activity. Now that you have seen how to build your custom connectors using Graph APIs accessible through the Microsoft Graph SDK, I'd like to announce that very soon you'll also be able to develop custom connectors using the Microsoft Graph Connectors SDK, built specifically to help you develop your custom connectors efficiently. You can quickly get started with the Graph Connectors SDK by downloading our connector template and writing minimal code in up to 11 languages. You will also be able to leverage the inbuilt capabilities of our connector platform for crawl orchestration, identity management, connection management, and more. You can also test your code using our test utility with pre-built test scenarios. And finally, you can publish your connection through the M365 Admin Center and leverage it as a single place to manage and monitor all your custom connectors as well as Microsoft built connectors. And those are the basics you need to know for building your custom connector. James, back to you. Thank you, Rajdeep and Monica. So in summary, we have talked about how the combination of Microsoft Search and Graph Connectors can deliver a world-class intelligent search experience for your workplace.
We walk through some of the innovative experiences in Microsoft 365 that your connector content can deeply integrate into. And we also went over the nuts and bolts of how you can go about building your own custom connector. Here are some resources that should be useful to you if you decide to explore graph connectors further. You can visit our admin documentation site to learn about how to set up and configure connectors. You can visit our developer documentation site to see our getting started guide, sample code, API reference docs, and Postman collection. Finally, you will find all the graph connectors available in our ecosystem from the connectors gallery. With that, I would like to thank you again for joining us today. I hope you have learned something new in this session and that you will start exploring how you can use or build your own connectors to deeply integrate your data into Microsoft 365 so that your data can be more easily found, discovered, and engaged with. Thank you.